central, southern, eastern Utah, you'll need the sunscreen as it's going to be another hot day with a lot of sunshine. A view, though, from our Ochre Mountain camera, where just even over the past hour we've been noticing increased cloud coverage, indications that we do have the upper level moisture. That monsoon flow, which has had a bigger impact across southern Utah, has been making its move and spreading across northern Utah, where yesterday, of course, we had the rain, especially in the early to mid afternoon hours, and some heavy rain, as we saw yesterday, could be a possibility to Today, as we're seeing some rain showers in extreme northwestern Utah at this hour. Temperatures starting off in the 60s and 70s. Highs look to be below average by about 10 degrees. Expected high in Salt Lake City where we get a little bit of break from the clouds. We might see a temperature of 82 degrees. On average, we still should be in the mid 90s. Well off the mark though, where of course last month we saw the record breaking temperatures in triple digits. That will not be in the forecast here over the next several days. One reason of course are the chances of rain showers which will suppress those temperatures. We can see a possibility of some uh, thunderstorms, again, just mainly across northern Utah. Southern Utah, you're staying dry. You're not worrying about flash flooding, but you'll see a return of that monsoon moisture, especially for the upcoming week. By midweek, we see in that flow setting itself up once again. But looking from the Storm Prediction Center, the possibility of thunderstorms mainly through central and northern Utah, but a bigger chance, though, here along the Wasatch Front up through Cache Valley, extreme northern Utah as well, even over towards southwest Wyoming. But for southern Utah, as I mentioned, it's just not expected to see that flash flooding. We're in the green, not only today, but tomorrow as well, keeping it dry. A nice break there where with sun sunshine, you're going to be seeing temperatures climb throughout the weekend. But active radar here throughout northern Utah. Line of showers still having an impact along I-80 in Tooele County, up through Box Elder County, between Snowville and Tremont. That's definitely been an area where we've seen some kind of moderate to even some heavy rainfall. A few isolated showers making their move through Cache Valley, up through Bear Lake. Starting to see that development once again near Brigham City with a few isolated showers and even a potential for some thunderstorms making their move up through Malad into southern Idaho where that's definitely a focus and it's moving eastward. So as this front tracks through and the combination with that moisture, the instability bringing in that threat of those showers moving through the afternoon, again, just mainly across northern Utah. So as we look at our future cast with the focus of future radar, active weather northwestern Utah making its move eastward, starting to incorporate some of the northern end of the Wasatch Front once we head up to the lunch hour, then pushing through Salt Lake Valley through Utah County afternoon into the early evening hour hours, then moving through southwest Wyoming. Once we get towards about 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, then the moisture moves away. We start to see clouds uh, moving away and clearing skies, lining things up for tomorrow where it will be a sunny day and temperatures back on the climb. So we'll get rid of this monsoon moisture at least for a brief period of time. But for northern Utah, you're in its sights. We'll keep that threat of some showers, which again, they could produce some heavy rain with some thunderstorms in effect, but suppressing those afternoon highs where they'll be in the 70s and even even low 80s here along the Wasatch Front, where you've got clear skies, a little bit warmer, not too excessively hot, where we'll be looking at highs in the upper 80s to low 90s and even upper 90s in St. George. Now, I mentioned we'll see a return of that monsoon flow by about Tuesday. That increases our threat of some afternoon showers each and every day, Tuesday through next weekend, and that'll allow temperatures to be back down into the mid 90s. But until then, we'll be looking at triple digits, at least for tomorrow and Monday. Afternoon showers today, it pushes away, lining things up for sunny skies tomorrow through Monday, starting to see clouds increase. That monsoon flow does allow for that moisture to migrate towards northern Utah and seeing an increased chance of some afternoon showers Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So today we get hit with the rain. Tomorrow we see the sunshine, but we see some nice temperatures where we'll keep it in the 80s throughout the weekend.